Hello, hello, welcome to today's video. If you're new, my name is Jessica. Today I'm going to be sharing my latest Newly haul with you all. I took a couple months off of Newly because I just didn't really feel like I had enough fun events going on to justify it, but because I am going on a trip, I decided to unpause my Newly subscription and get some fun finds for vacation. If you're interested in Newly, uh, just a little short snippet about what Newly is, or if you're not familiar, it is a clothing rental subscription. So you pay, I believe, $80 a month and you get access to six items per month that you can rent, wear as many times as you like in that month, and then send them back to get some new pieces, or if you really end up falling in love with the piece, you can keep it and Newly will charge you a discounted rate for that item that is typically around 30% ish lower than its retail price. That amount can fluctuate based on the brand of what the item is, the condition that it's in, etc. So it's not like a hard and fast rule, but you are gonna get these items at a discount from regular retail if you so choose to keep them. Newly is such a great sustainable way to always have fresh, items in your wardrobe so that you can always feel like you have something fun and new to wear uh, without having to go out and constantly be shopping for new items. I personally love to use Newly when I am going on a trip because I always want to have fun outfits when I go on vacation and especially for vacations like right now where it's a tropical vacation and it's the middle of January it is a little difficult to find summery things to grab in January and vice versa. If you're going somewhere where it's like a super cold snowy destination, they also have some awesome like snow gear and things like that. If that's clothing items that you don't really have in your wardrobe because you don't normally have a need for them. You don't have to just use Newly for trips. You can use them just regularly every month if you just like to have new things to try out. It's also great for, you know, special events that you might have coming up. Maybe you're going to a friend's wedding or um, something of the sort. So you get the point. Newly is just an awesome way to just try out new things for a lot less money and it's a lot better for the, for the planet. If you're interested in trying Newly, I do have a link in the description box that will get you $10 off your first month. This video is not sponsored in any way, but if you do use that link, I also get $10 off a month of my Newly subscription. So just full disclosure. When you order from Newly, it all comes packaged in this lovely uh, canvasy bag, folded up nicely for you. And this is what you use to send the clothes back in when you are finished. So without further ado, let's see what I got in this month's Newly. This first dress is from the brand Hutch. It is a really pretty red wrap dress. When I put this on, my first thought was that I looked like the salsa emoji girl. You guys know the one? Her? It kind of gives that vibe, doesn't it? I got it in a small, and here's the thing about Newly that's a little challenging, is they have all these different brands that range from like Anthropology and Farm Rio and Selkie and a lot of fun brands on there. But of course, we all know different brands sizing runs differently. So what I try to do is go down in the reviews. Usually women that have rented the piece before will leave a review sometimes often with photos of themselves in the dress it also will say like their measurements their weight their height so you can kind of try to find people in the review section who have a similar body to you and see what they thought about the dress how it looked on their body um, and what they thought about how the sizing runs and try to gauge the size that you need based on them and that's usually what I do and some of the people in the review who said that this ran big so I got a small and I really regret that I wish I would have gotten a medium because I feel like with the nature of wrap dresses, when you have a bust, when you have like a bigger chest, and I also like have like a thicker hips and like a booty. So those are two areas that because it's a wrap dress, you're wrapping fabric around your body. If there's not enough fabric to go over this and the, the booty, then it's just like coming up short in terms of whatever. Like I feel like I have to like keep pulling the neckline a little bit so that you don't see my bra which keeps wanting to peek out so that's kind of annoying and also the skirt if it were to like if the wind were to blow a certain direction like it would totally like flash everyone so I think what I would have to do if I wore this is to take a safety pin and pin down the part of the skirt that wraps over the front of the under part of the skirt just to keep it in place in that area so that it doesn't accidentally fly up and whatnot. So the jury's out on this. Um, I got this because I'm going on a Virgin Voyages cruise and there's a night on board called Scarlet Night where they encourage everyone to wear red. Um, and so I thought this would be a fun dress to wear for that. So we'll see if I end up using it for that. But the fabric is really pretty. It's got like a very subtle sparkle and sheen to the fabric. It's like this crinkled like chiffon almost. The other weird thing about this dress 
is, I don't know if it's just me, but if you look at the sleeves, it just seems like the sleeves are sewn on differently. Like one side looks like it's doing a different thing than the other. Like this side looks like it's going out more and this side looks like it just wants to droop. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things, but a little disappointed in this dress. I do have some other red dread, red dress options for this cruise. So it's not the end of the world, but if you are bigger chested, I would recommend maybe sizing up in this dress if you're interested in it, because you might need that little bit of extra fabric to bring it together in the front in a better way. This dress is from Farm Rio. I have quite a few Farm Rio pieces in this haul. I love renting Farm Rio from Newly. It's a brand that I just adore, but it's a little bit out of my price point. So someday I think I will invest in some things from Farm Rio, but I think I would really just need to find like the right thing for me. But in the meantime, I will go on renting some stuff. Now I, I badly need to steam this out. It's very, very wrinkly, but I thought what a fun, perfect dress for a Caribbean cruise, right? It's just got this fun, vibrant starfish print on it. It's very, you know, ocean beachy themed. And I love the one shoulder aspect of it. So it's, you know, a long sleeve bell sleeve on the one arm, and then you've got the other arm out. I got this in a size small and it's borderline. I think medium could have worked too. I would have had a little bit of extra room in it. And I also think it could definitely have worked because it does have this little waist tie. So even if it was a little bit of extra fabric in the waist, you can always just cinch it in by tying the tie tighter to give your waist that definition. So if you do have a bigger bust, um, I'm a 34 double D and the small is fine. It just fits a little tighter than maybe it's supposed to, but everywhere else it is fine. But just know that you could size up and it will work because the waist tie helps to bring it in. Now, the thing that is awesome about it, but also weird is the fact that it has pockets and the pockets when I, I like tried to straighten them out and lay them flat, they don't really lay flat because they're so wrinkled inside there. So it kind of makes the dress like right at your hips look a little bit wider. So I've kind of finagled them so that they draw the least amount of attention to that area as possible. So I'm gonna have to look at the care instructions to see if I can use an iron on this or if it can only be steamed. But all in all, I think this is a really fun dress. The little tassels on the tie are such a fun touch. The fabric feels really good. It's very lightweight and breezy. So perfect if you're going somewhere warmer. And I mean, this print is just so much fun. The next two pieces I sort of ordered to wear as a set, they're also from Farm Rio. I believe I got a medium in the top and I got a medium in the shorts. And I think this is so, so cute. And I think they would also really work well as separates away from each other. So yes, I can wear them, the matching set, but I could also wear this little top with uh, some other shorts or a skirt or maybe some trousers. And then these little shorts would look so cute with um, maybe a one piece solid bathing suit worn underneath them or a bodysuit I could see being fun about them. So starting off with the top, it is, is it adjustable straps? Yes, the spaghetti straps are adjustable and the back is just a tie. So that makes it extremely customizable to your shape. I love that about it. I also love that you can't, you don't really need to wear a bra with it because you can just tie it as tight as you need it to be. And it feels like it holds everything in place. And it's not so small of a crop top that I don't feel insecure wearing it without an undergarment because we have enough coverage everywhere. I mean, look at how cute the little, just like contrasting, like, what do you call this little fabric? Rick rack, or I want to say it's like some sort of bric-a-brac. I'm probably getting that wrong, but the little colorful squiggly things with the white and the different little floral print. And then the shorts are sort of like a linen-y material. Yeah, I would say they're kind of a linen and they have a paper bag elastic waist. So extremely forgiving, um, really, really cute. They're nice and loose in the legs. I probably could have gotten a small in these just because they are so forgiving, but the mediums are really comfortable and they fit me really well and they're not too short and they have pockets. So I think this is gonna be a really comfortable, cute look for daytime on the ship or maybe going into one of the ports when we are on our cruise. And I literally can't wait, but I need to get a spray tan desperately because I am so pale. Tell me it's the middle of January without telling me it's the middle of January. All you have to do is look at my skin. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm pale like this all year round. This is definitely the disappointment of the mix. I just want to share the photo of the model in this piece and compare it to what I look like in this. Um, not that I feel like I look bad, but I just think, first of all, 
this jumpsuit is definitely not made for my body type. I wouldn't even really call myself like a long torsoed person, but I just, it almost feels like the jumpsuit, like the torso part of this is not long enough for my frame because I don't know if you've, any of you have ever tried to wear a jumpsuit and like you can tell the crotch is like probably a little bit too high and things are not quite hitting you where they're supposed to. That's what's happening here. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the pants are just, they're so short. And it would be one thing if it was more of a tapered leg jumpsuit, but they're wide, like loose pants. And when they hit short like that, it just looks really, really bad. But the third thing, probably the thing about this that I find the most disappointing is this ruffle situation that's on the front of it. On the model and in the product photo, it looks like it's so beautiful and like structured. And on this one, it's just like the most sad little crinkled up, wrinkled, pathetic thing. It doesn't look like the same thing at all. So I don't know if it's because this is one of those pieces that have been worn too many times um, and it just needs to, newly just needs to retire it and take it out of the rotation of their rentals or what, but this is just not. This is not it, it is not the vibe. We will not be taking this one on the cruise and it's a bummer because I thought the idea of this would be so cute for a Mexican cruise. And again, well, sorry, not a Mexican cruise, a Caribbean cruise, Mexico's only one of the stops. You get what I'm saying, it's vibrant and colorful and it would have been really adorable, but it's just, it's not gonna work out. And I also thought it would be great because it's like very predominantly red toned, again, trying to keep it on brand with the Virgin branding, but it's gonna be a no. This one is not working out. This might be my favorite item in the entire newly order. And strangely enough, I don't think it's gonna make it with me on the cruise just because I don't know if it's really the most practical thing to bring on a cruise. It is a lot of fabric, but had to try out a piece from Selkie. I love Selkie. And if you're not familiar with this brand, they make the most fanciful, whimsical, girly, over the top girly dresses of your dreams if you are like me and a very girly girl and you just want to prance around in a princess dress all day. They're more known for like the little bubble dresses that are like really short baby doll style dresses that are very poofy. And I have tried one of those before. Those are not for me. If you're a tall girl, you better not have to bend over or hope that it's not a windy day because you will be flashing everyone. But they do make these other styles that are a little bit longer. And so we saw this one and thought, let's try it. And I am in love. So first of all, it has like a built in corset to the top portion. And I got a medium. Selkie sizing I heard can be kind of run, it can kind of run small I've heard. So went ahead and did the medium. It is perfect for me. It's got just enough room underneath where I can also wear a strapless bra and it zips up and it fits like a glove. It's got some nice boning all throughout the torso. So it just holds itself up pretty nicely, but I still needed to put a strapless bra underneath skirt. All I want to do is just like twirl around in this dress because it just twirls so nicely. Maybe I'm still a five-year-old at heart, but uh, I can't help but do the twirl test in a dress like this. And this one definitely passes the twirl test. It is gorgeous. But yeah, I don't know if this is really giving me like vibes for a cruise. I think it's more of like garden tea party or like garden wedding guest maybe, but a cruise in the Caribbean, I don't think so. And also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but it's a lot of fabric. So I would fear that this would take up my entire suitcase. This Newly is definitely an improvement on my previous Newly. The last time I ordered from Newly, I barely used any of the things that I ordered. I didn't even make a video about it because most of my six pieces were either just in terrible shape or they just didn't fit properly, which was a huge bummer. This time I'm relieved that at least the majority of it, the majority of it, I really like and it fits. Um, so again, it's always a toss up. You never really know, but I think in general, Newly is a really great way to get some awesome new pieces at an affordable price and also very sustainably. If you want to learn more about Newly, I made this video with my first ever Newly haul. It goes a little bit more in depth about how Newly works and all that jazz. Um, and also the pieces that I rented there are still available on Newly, so it's still very relevant. So check that video out next if you're interested. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you had fun. I'll see you guys over here, and if not, I'll see you on the next video. Video. Bye!